everybody. Jennifer from Paper This and That. I wanted to do a very quick video. I did another mini album. I did not get to do the keepsake box because I was sick last weekend and only had a couple days to throw this together. This is going to be a honeymoon album. My supervisor at work is getting married today. And I just finished this up this morning. He, uh, I guess he and his soon-to-be wife, as of like 3 o'clock this afternoon, is going to just do some driving, go to Maine and Massachusetts. I know they're going to be stopping by some beaches and stuff too. And I kind of did a little bit of a beachy theme album. I'm going to put a little personal note in there on... Um, what to do with the album and stuff but I meant this to be for their honeymoon I'm sure they already have a photographer and a wedding album planned so I wanted to do something a little bit different and they've been together for a while and it's a matter of what do you give somebody who's been together for a while probably has every household appliance and stuff so this is what I've come up with this is also from Genevieve Designs um, this is her large keepsake box mini album template I, like i said i didn't have time to do the keepsake box but i at least got the album done and so they're going to get the album i'm going to try to make this quick because after i do that i got to move on to making their card but this is the cover the stamp set was one that was from close to my heart that I had gotten a couple years ago actually and it was hard making an impression on this because this was an afterthought and you know with I, had, I put a mouse pad underneath here to try to get the best impression this was something this flourish was from my stash this paper was also from close to my heart for the cover I didn't do anything on the back I might put my stamp that says handmade by, you know, I think I am going to do that. Okay, inside the front cover. And I did this similar to almost the same as what Genevieve designs on what Jennifer did in her demo video. Then my pages are reordered differently. But in the front cover here, just a little um, handmade flower of mine that I did belly band with an envelope there's nothing in this envelope because I marked it receipts uh, I figure this could be something that they can put the receipts restaurant receipts hotel receipts or whatever in as a keepsake this is a flip up page these are from my stash on there from the Charlotte collection of close to my heart also a couple years old um, in here I've got, I think all this is close to my heart, um, except for this background paper that was, uh, from a digital paper set. I didn't put anything here because the album's already bulky enough, but I figure here's a little journaling card, um, tags. This is from the Jackson collection from like two or three years ago from close to my heart. Same with the paper up there on the other side of the flap. Um, this, these cards came from the Woodland um, Crush album collection from Close to My Heart that they used to have years ago. Just for some notes. And this is just a little um, folded insert. And each page is a pocket page. All of the tags are the same. I used the same paper. I just kind of wore um, one pocket. I put this side facing up. And the other pocket, next pocket, this side, kind of alternating them. Okay. On this side, that flip out page. 
Um, this paper is from Die Cuts with a View. Here's another little envelope. has a tag in it. Um, this tag is also one from one of the um, Close to My Heart collections. This stamp is from one of the Close to My Heart stamps as well. And I did what Genevieve did. I used one of her tabs to make this like a little flip. <coughs> Excuse me. This page, some flowers in my stash, and then I used some liquid um, pearls or pearl pens for the centers on that belly band. This is an envelope from the template collection. Inside the envelope is uh, another three... Um, part fold out that they can use to put envelopes or, or pictures or if they want to um, do if journaling or anything like that. I was going to put a stopper in there but it's almost thick enough that I didn't need a stopper and I was trying to figure and a stopper would not have been I couldn't have gotten it high enough to keep that up there but it's kind of staying in place so I'm not too worried about it again same thing with the tag this album will accommodate four by six photos another belly band this is another stamp that Chica color I'm gonna let her color the seashell herself and the twine is extra thick twine um, I think this was the glacier color from close to my heart this and this was digital paper. Inside this envelope is another one of them. Fold out inserts. Close to my heart paper, saying that's on the front cover. I tried to incorporate that in a couple different spots just to kind of keep it cohesive. Didn't have much as far as beachy paper except for printable paper. Um, this here I tried to keep simple because it's already bulky. And this one says, Cheers to love, laughter, and happily ever after. And just a little flower from my stash with a pearl center. This is a flip out page. Uh, this is a pocket with a couple tags in it. Again, tag inside the pocket, side pocket. This here, um, this special day was from the Charlotte Close to My Heart collection. This is an epoxy flower from my stash. I'm trying not to catch a glare too much from the camera. Um, in here, some more tags. Um, this is a larger tag, Close to My Heart collection. This is um, also from cut apart from Close to My Heart from the Woodlands um, My Crush album collection. This is another, this is a little mini um, envelope. A couple little tags in here. This tag and the envelope was also from the template collection. These were from that same Woodlands um, set from Close to My Heart. And they fit in there perfectly. I didn't cut, oh I did cut the hole in there but I didn't put a twine on it. Oh well. And then this is the last page. Um, bunch, a cluster of flowers here. I was trying to do flat flowers. So it didn't get too bulky. I don't have a closure on this, but I want them to have room for their photos. These are some tags that were from the collection. Um, oh, this is from the Charlotte paper collection. So it's this background on here. Another one of those um, trifold inserts. And that pretty much covers it. I just wanted to share this real quick. Oops! Get another scrap paper getting caught in there. And here you go. 
give me a thumbs up if you like this album, if you like this video, and please subscribe to my channel so that you know when I do have new video releases. I thank you for watching. Again, thumbs up. Have a great day. Thanks.